for twelve years the german people steep themselves in the poisonous lies of national socialism eager for power glory and the spoils of conquest they joyously accepted the propaganda of their leaders they surrendered themselves to hypnotic voices to gigantic spectacles and military pomp they grew fat and arrogant on the spoils of Europe. For the German people, Hitler had brought alive the militaristic traditions of Bismarck and Frederick the Great. The Kaiser's dreams of world conquest seemed close to realization. For these gains, the German people gave away their minds, their souls, their self-respect as individuals. They learned their master's lies by rote, were willingly schooled for aggression, educated in savagery. This was higher learning in Germany. This and war. That school is out now. The master race has seen the despised democracies and the so-called inferior races smash their armies, destroy their leaders, silence their propaganda machine. There are new masters and new teachers. The pupils' attitude has changed, too. The boasters and the bullies are humble, weak, and timid. The Germans of today plead the error of their former ways. They profess readiness to reform, to practice the ways of democracy. They seem smiling, friendly, eager to learn anew. But we cannot expect these people to discard Nazi ideas with the casual air with which they abandoned their uniforms. Or that a few puffs of DDT will disinfect their minds of Nazi beliefs. We too have had our lesson. When Germany signed an armistice at the end of the First World War, the Kaiser fled and the German Republic was set up. We thought Germany was through with militarism forever and was safe for democracy. So after a brief occupation of a tiny corner of Germany, our troops left, convinced that the hospitable, pleasant Germans were eager for peace and freedom. Hitler and World War II taught us how wrong we were. Today, the Germans are giving the same lip service to democracy as they did 25 years ago. That is cheap and easy. The Germans learned hypocrisy, too, from their Nazi masters. We know the poison of Nazi propaganda filtered deep. We must be both teachers and guardians to wipe it from the minds and hearts of the German people. We must take minds trained not to think, but to obey. Minds dulled by the incessant pounding of propaganda and teach them to start thinking for themselves. Slowly, steadily, they must be taught the fundamentals of democracy. Only when they have learned these fundamentals in practice, as well as in theory, can we feel safe. They must learn the meaning of freedom, freedom and equality. Today, freedom of worship is re-established in Germany. as is equality before the law, and the end of discrimination on the grounds of race, creed, or position. Labor unions have been revived. And schools are reopened, as trustworthy teachers are found. Political parties have been encouraged to assemble openly in public discussion. We are gradually encouraging the Germans to run their own affairs. As they show progress, more and more phases of their government will be returned to their control. Slowly, the German is becoming reacquainted with freedom of speech, freedom of the press. Our task is to supervise this training in democracy, to keep the Germans on the right road, 
especially to make sure former Nazis and their active supporters are kept out of positions of responsibility and authority. You, the soldiers of the occupation, who stand by as monitors while military government does its job, can help on this vast project of re-education. First, give your support and encouragement to those Germans who have been given responsible jobs by us. Next, watch out for those Germans who proclaim they were never Nazis, but try to fill you with their old lies against the British, the Russians, the French. They're telling our lies, the same lies about you. Sit on them, but hard. Third, work with the children and the youngsters. They are our best bet. Anything you can teach them about democracy and fair play will help finish our job. Above all, remember you yourself, as an American, as a representative of the world's greatest democracy, can show by example what we mean by democratic ways. Be firm, but fair. You're the boss, but don't abuse your authority. Never give Germans an excuse to say, Americans act just like Nazis. We have no choice. We cannot afford to be fooled again, to fail once more. Our victory will be meaningless. We leave Germany fertile for another dictator and another war. We must teach. They must learn. The ABCs of democracy. The alphabet of peace.